Hi, in this short video, I will show you how you can use MicroProfile Config together with ETCD from the CNCF project. So first, a very short introduction, what I'm trying to do. Configuration is important and it should be outside of your application so that you can update that configuration without the need to redeploy your application. That configuration can be in different sources like system properties, property files, XML files, or may maybe even the database. So with MicroProfile Config, you have a uniform access to all those sources and you can just request the value of the parameter that you like and the framework will search for you a suitable value in one of those sources. With ETCD, you can store those values because it is a distributed key value store which is used in many projects, also in Docker and Kubernetes. And there is an interface between MicroProfile Config and ETCD so that you can look up your application configuration values within ETCD very easily, out of the box. You do not need to do anything. So let's get started with the demo. I have prepared here an example where I'm using the application together with um, ETCD. So I start them, them up. You see an application called service and the ETCD container itself. What is this application? Well, it is a very simple application. It is just one REST endpoint where I use the micro profile config annotation to look up a certain value in this case a parameter which is called foo and you can you can guess that i will assign it the value bar then um, but by default it has a default value so if it doesn't find any suitable value in any of those sources then it will just use the, the word default and this value is just returned as the result of the call to my endpoint. In order to use the ETCD, I need to define it as a config source within MicroProfile Config, and I'm using for that the artifact config source ETCD from the extensions, which performs all the necessary code to retrieve that value. The configuration of ETCD is just saying where the host can be found and um, since I've started up with a hostname ETCD, I just need to define it here and say that it can be used um, as a config source. So if we first do a curl to that endpoint, Then we will see that it gets the default value because I did not set any value specifically in the store yet. So let's put a value there. So I have here a little command line program to access the etcd um, instance because it is using gRPC as an interface, so you cannot do it easily by REST, for instance. And uh, as I said, I will put the value bar into that um, store. And if I call that endpoint again, you see it now that the value is picked up from the store. That it's no longer default, but the one which is um, taken there. I can use any other value, let's call it Payara, for obvious reasons, and again the value is changed. So the value is immediately picked up because my endpoint here is REST scoped, so the endpoint is created every time again when I do a call, and which means that the value for the configuration parameter is searched and, and we have finds the latest within the ETCD store. Thank you for watching this short video and um, hopefully you can use it in one of your projects.
have fun. Bye.